Has selling your home been something you've thought about? Well, when you do, make sure you remember these 15 negotiation strategies that'll help you maximize your sale and help your transaction go very smoothly. Number one, research the market. Understand the current conditions and comparable sales in your area to better know how to price your home. Number two, set a competitive price. Price your home realistically to attract potential buyers that will help to facilitate negotiations among multiple buyers. Number three, know your bottom line. Determine what the lowest acceptable price you are willing to accept is before negotiations even begin. Number four, be flexible with your showings. Try to make your home accessible to potential buyers as much as you can, even if it inconveniences you a bit, because ultimately you want your home to sell and you won't receive any offers if people can't see it in person. Number five, respond promptly. Quick responses to your agent and interested buyers shows you're serious and can speed up the negotiation process, which then creates a great rapport with buyers and makes them more willing to wanna to work with you. Number six, highlight unique features and upgrades. Emphasize any upgrades that you have made to the home, as well as any distinctive features that will set your home apart from others. Number seven, consider getting pre-inspections. Getting pre-inspections before putting the house on the market will help you address potential issues prior to having a buyer use them against you as leverage. Number eight, be open to offers all the time, not on a specific date. When a buyer's interested, why make them wait for a response from you? This only allows them to find other homes to take interest in, which in turn helps your competition. Be open to looking at offers the moment your realtor receives them. Number nine, create a warm atmosphere. During showings, make sure to make your home feel welcoming to create a positive impression on those coming to look at it. Number 10, stay emotionally detached. Treat the sale of your home as a business transaction so you can make objective decisions, not emotional ones. Number 11, be willing to compromise. Recognize that negotiations involve give and take. Be open to finding common ground with buyers when they show that they're willing to work with you. Number 12, use a skilled real estate agent. Using an experienced agent will help you navigate negotiations effectively on your behalf. 13, offer incentives. Consider providing incentives to buyers. An example of this would be like maybe paying a portion of the closing costs. Number 14, anticipate counter offers. Be prepared for buyers to counter offer and make sure to have a plan with your realtor on how you will respond. Number 15, have a backup plan. Always make a backup plan just in case the deal falls through so you're not surprised and in a vulnerable position. Now, I hope these help you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I got you.